Unit 52. So uh, it is a very important topic okay, to tell you the uh, chemical test for detecting the presence of functional group. So uh, there are some good points or bad points of using those chemical tests, right? Can you, can you tell me? So what is the use of chemical test? To find the, fu the functional group it has. Okay, functional group it has. So uh, a very quick way, actually. But uh, any drawbacks, any drawbacks, any limitations that you may find? Any limitations? You may not know the position of the functional group. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it, is there any rain? Mm -hmm. Any rain, yeah. So uh, indeed, the whole structure, we do not know. We do not know anything about the whole structure. I just know part of that. So this is uh, the drawbacks of uh, having the chemical test in organic chemistry. Uh, it is different from, uh, it's different from uh, in organic chemistry because uh, you, you are given a salt. Uh, if you know that you just have one cation, one, one type of anion, what you need to do is to think of two tests and that's it. But for this part, you have to do uh, uh, what you can know is just part of the molecule, but not the whole molecule. Okay, so this is the limitation of using the chemical test. Uh, yesterday, we just introduced to you uh, some of the commonly used chemicals, just like bromine, uh, acid of IK207. Uh, for, but for this part, uh, KMNO4, I would highly recommend you or not to use this one, okay? I would not recommend you or to use this one because it, the oxidizing power of KMNO4 is too strong. And there is something new, this one, these two, they are suffering new, right? This is something new. So uh, uh, this is what we stopped at it, uh, yes, last night, okay? 2,4-dinitrophene, non-hydrazine, and tolerance reagents. Mm -hmm. So uh, this one, it, uh, it will give you a narrow down of those choices to carbonyl group. But if you have got positive results uh, when treat, being treated with 2,4-dinitrophenohydrazine, uh, it is carbonyl compound. But I don't know whether or not it is aldehyde or ketone. So you are going to test the, uh, whether or not it can be oxidized by uh, testing with acidified K207 or tolerance reagent. Can you get my point? So this is a stepwise uh, uh, chemical test. The first step is you have to know whether or not it is a uh, carbon new compound. Second is, is if you know it's carbon compound, you have to get to know whether it can be further oxidized. Uh, sorry, it can be further oxidized. If it can further oxidized, I know it's aldehyde, otherwise it's ketone. Understand? So this is what I would like to talk to, uh, just talk it here. So uh, for the remaining pages at the back, this one from 52.7 uh, or later on, uh, you will, uh, I, I, you, you just know distillation, fracture distillation, solvent extraction. While for recrystallization and chromatography, you will know it later. Okay, especially for chromatography, you know it from sex while you are having the summer's uh, lessons. Uh, so you get to know some of the important points about it. Okay, questions? Now, if not, uh, we will go to the exercise uh, to get you know uh, some of the important part. At uh, this part, don't worry, uh, we'll, we'll continue uh, later. We'll, cover, we'll go back here while you get promoted to concepts. So shall we take a look on Oh, why is loading so slow? Uh, on this part, multiple choice and some long questions. Take a look on question two. Take a look on question two. Which of the following compounds will form an orange precipitate with 2,4-dinitrophenohydrazine? Uh, I try to ask a C or D. Somebody say C, somebody say D. Hmm? Sorry? I can't hear anything. Uh, D. 
D is correct. Okay. So for this part, don't or over, don't don't be so excited that it's carbonyl group. Okay. So it is carboxyl. It is COOH. So to, for two four dihydroxyphenoxyl, it only reacts with this, but not with this. Okay. D. What is that? CHO? CHO remain aldehyde. This, is it aldehyde? This one, is it aldehyde? No, it's not aldehyde, it's a ketone. Aldehyde, if I write it down aldehyde, they will be end up like this. So this is aldehyde. Okay, a very strange way to write, but uh, why, why is it like that? Is, in it, is something missing, right? The missing part is this hydrogen. It's hydrogen atom. But while you write down this, so what is that? It is methyl. So it is ketone. Understand? Okay. So how about as number three? Compound X. Uh, why you still feel so unhappy? <laughs> Compound X is treated with warm and acidified aqueous solution of potassium dibromate. Uh, so we remember underline the, uh, the term K2Cl27 and then the resulting proton give the orange uh, precipitate with the product. Uh, so it's different, right? X is this, X to do something to form a product. While the product I test it with 2 4 dinitropin hydroxide, but no observable change with tolerance reagent. Can you get the point? So it is not X uh, to be a, you mean, you mean painting now? Painting now is not correct. It's not correct. So take a look on the question again. X is just oxidized by using this one, you know the oxidizing agent to form the product. You product, you test it by two. One is 2,4 DMPH, 2,4 dinitropin hydrazine, it will give you orange PPT. Second, tolerance reagent. Can you get a point? And uh, no also change, that means no silver mirror. Can you get a point? So, what is the hidden message? The first part here, orange PPT means we have got carbonyl group. No, no silver mirror, which means what? It's not an LDI. It's not LDI. Okay, can you get a point? So it must be what? The product must be a ketone. Can you get a point? So if, if that one is also does the form of ketone, what is X? X is a secondary alcohol. So you have to go in to check which one is the secondary alcohol and that is the answer. First of all, this is not correct. Which one? B. Yes, that's right. Pentane 2 all. I will know Pentane 2 all. So you may find this one is a secondary alcohol. Question? Question? This is a secondary alcohol. You understand? Okay, all right. Feel better? Now, shall we take a look on question four? Question four. Question four. So exciting, huh? Question four. Put on T. You just open the mic. Could you, could you please tell me where or not it's A, B, C, or D? Uh... C. C. Somebody you circle D, uh, B, C or D. Now take a look. Now C or D. Now the, this, uh, what are the functional groups present actually? What are the functional groups present? We've got C C double bond, right? And then we've got what? We've got C C double bond. We've got C double bond, we've got, what is that? Is it aldehyde or ketone? Yes, it's aldehyde. Okay, and this one is C double bond. So you're going to check those 
chemicals to see if any positive results, right? A equals bromine, positive result. So which is what? Turn to colorless, turn to colorless, okay? Well, for this part, 2, 4, nitro, di, nitro, phenol, hydrazine. So of course, they will have orange PPT. How about this? Orange PPT still yes, right? Take a look. Wow. Yes, that's right. So how about next? It's aldehyde. Silver mirror, yes. Yellow solution, no, right? So this the answer is B. Can you get a point? Final observation. It's final observation. Puno uh, have you have you missed quite a lot of lessons, right? It seems. Puno Ji. Or Choi Gan. Choi Gan. So Choi Gan, which means you have missed. Yeah, sorry. Or uh, dehydration, it's not good. Dehydration, uh, of course, after, after, at this moment, you know that you, you, you have been dehydrated. Ay. Dehydration. Now, question five. Consider the two carbon compounds X and Y. Which of all agents can be used to distinguish between them? So what is the difference? Now this one, it is an alcohol, but it is a secondary alcohol. This one is aldehyde. And this one, what is that? It is ketone. And what is that? It is a primary alcohol. So how would you distinguish? It's, it's a little bit more complicated now. Hi. Yeah. Show me yes. your thoughts. Which one? A, B, C, or D? D. Boy or dog? D for dog. D for dog. Dog. Tolerance ratio. Which one will give a... Uh, what is the difference in observation? If I use the D... The L-D-5 one will have a silver... Silver mirror, silver mirror on the surface of the test tube. Okay, inner surface of the test tube. Inner Which surface. One? X or Y, you mean? X. X. How about Y? Uh, if I don't have a mistake, I should have a mistake. I should have a mistake. I should No. Actually, no. Now, this one is this one is silver mirror. We have a silver mirror and this one we do not have any silver, uh, silver mirror. You have to go back to this. What is that? What is the major chemicals to be responsible for that, for that reaction? It's a silver ion, right? So what happened to the silver ion? It undergo reactors and go back to silver. Silver metals. Yes, this is silver metal. So it is a reduction reaction. So what, uh, what does the underlying principle is to oxidize the aldehyde. The only aldehyde, they will react. Only aldehyde will react. They will form what? Carboxylate, okay? So D is the answer. About the other A, B, or C, we, we do not have uh, anyone. Okay? Yes, that's right. It's di, di How about number, number six? Oh, this one. It's easy, right? It's easy. Even though it's, it's not. For each purpose, is this solution used? A, B, C, or D? No idea. B? Yeah, yeah, B. Yes, that's right. To purify the liquid product of lower boiling point. With much more lower boiling point, we use distillation. Okay. So we go to now. Uh, for seven and eight, I will leave it later. Okay. So we will leave it later. Uh, you go to number nine. We skip it and go to number nine. Mark you lah. The structure of vitamin C is shown below. Hi, Xin Xian, I got it. Yes. By a large echo. You open the two mic together, is it? Which of foreign property is vitamin C likely to have? 
is soluble in water, correct or not? Bingo, bingo. Number nine. Wait, wait, what's happening? Pencil, you answer. Pencil. Where are you pencil? Oh, who, who is absent? 70, uh, 60 students. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, uh, Now, it's soluble in water. It's correct. Why? Don't tell me it's because vitamin C is water soluble. <laughs> so show me the functional group. OH, yes, that's right. OH. But OH, it is water so uh, K can form hydrogen bond with water. OH, OH, can you see that? So many OH. And also carbon new group that O. The O also they can form so many uh linkage to the uh water molecules nearby to form hydrogen bond. How about number two? If decolorize equals bromine rapidly. Double bond. Yes, where? Which which double bond? Which double bond? Now remember, don't just tell me double bond because we have got two double bond here. One is CO double bond, one is CC double bond. So that's right, you have to use CC double bond uh, to have a rapid decolorization. You see the word rapidly. So it is a type of addition reaction. Number C, it gives a silver mirror with Solens reagent. Silver mirror, Solens reagent. Any LD high? No, no LD high, so no. No, no, uh, they would, it is alcohol, alcohol, what is that? It's ester, alcohol, alcohol, no. So the answer is one and two only, A. Number 10. Do you understand? Number 10. Number 10. Which of the following reactions are carbon or compounds oxidized? Yes, also are carbon compound oxidized. Very strange, right? Very strange question. Two is absolutely correct, right? Every half we have with Solens reagent. How about number C? Correct or not? What is that? What is the type of reaction for C? It's just a element, uh, condensation reaction. But it's a type of elimination reaction only. So you may find this block mesh to this and we have with water. So no, it's not red noise. How about this? So what would be the product? What will be the product? Okay. But once you see that, it's quite difficult to comprehend, right? But yes, this one the oxidizing agent. What is the what is the observation? So permanganate, what happened to permanganate finally? Permanganate they will turn to manganese two plus, right? So the oxidation number of uh, Mn will be changed from plus seven to plus two. Okay. So which means is identical reduction. In other words, this one will happen to this is to is undergo oxidation. Yes, that's right. So the answer is one and two only. Is the answer is A. Questions? Questions? No? Easy. Easy. So here comes this one. This is the commonly seen questions, right? Again, distinguish. So could you please put a star here? Uh, in a book? Tell me. Suggest a chemical test to distinguish one compound from the other. 
uh, the answers should be include the reagents used and expect observation. Yes, that's right. I add sodium carbon carbonate to the solid, solid, solid. Sure. Sure, it's solid. How come I circle solid? Do you know? Now, do you, you will be X, AQ. Why I would prefer you to write down AQ rather than solid? Anyone who can tell? Dissolve in water. So where is water? Where can you find water? If I put solid here, now the question is, now somebody say it like this. So my question is, if I just write down solid, so where is water? Tell me where. Water. Water. King the cup or select it. Really? Where? Now, uh, the questions about this is talk, uh, we talk about it as a type of pure substance. So they are not telling you it is a, uh, if I write it down, it is a butane exit, no water inside. It is pure propane exit. Can you get a point? So that's why we need to add water to it. But where? In the testing agent, better. So that's why no need, no need, to, no need to write such. Now, so what will happen? The, uh, the easier case is if it is water containing, I add solid duty into it, of course, there will be effervescence. But no water is here. No water is here. So even though I put solid into it, that hydrogen atom will not be ionized to form hydrogen ion. So no hydrogen ion, of course, we cannot react. This is something about acid base. Can you get a point? So in this case, you are going to write it down as AQ, not solar. Do you understand? So, so far is the first step. I would like to write it down into the written steps. Add this into each of the sample separately, okay? So the observation will be, is it the one which gives colorless gas bubbles is the, it is what, what is propane acid, right? While the other one, the one showing no observable change is the one before. What is that? How do I call this? How do I call this? It is the S type. It is the S type, not LD high. So what is that? One, two, how do I call this? One, two, what is that? Eval. Methanoids. Hey, come on, I need you, I need you guys to get to know the naming. Question, any question? How about B? How about B? So you may check the two. Mm. Now this one, B part, some hint, it is what? It is a ketone, right? It's ketone, how about this? It is aldehyde. It's aldehyde and ketone, how will you distinguish one from another? Yes, you may use K2-Cell-7-acidify and changes the scalp. If I use tolerance reagent, now somebody loves to write down tolerance reagent here, right? 
So if you are asked to write down to learn region, what will be the steps and what will be the observation? Warm each of the sample with Solon's reagent separately. Remember the term warm, Solon's reagent. Warm, you need, you need warm. And then what is the observation? The one which shows silver mirror inside the container is what? It is the aldehyde, right? So what, how do I call this aldehyde? What is the name? What is the chemical name for this aldehyde? Uh, Gao. Bongao. Hi, Bongao. Hi. What is the name of the subcompact here? This one. Opaine, opaine diel. Yes, that's right. Opaine diel. But Bongao didn't did answer, right? How about this? Mm -hmm. While the other one showing no, no observable change is what is that? Pet and what? Anyone who can help? Uh, what is that? Don't know. Slept. So what is the IUPAC name of this one? And Thinking. Pen two for dial, is it? How many of you think that this is correct? Please put up a hand. What is the answer? Now. 2,4 diode is correct, right? 2, comma, 4, hyphen diode, right? But because I marked die here, no vowel already, so you are going to add A here, hyphen, enter, hyphen, 2, comma, 4, hyphen diode. Got it? Easy, difficult? It's not that difficult, right? Easy. So, uh, any more questions? Anything that you don't know? Do you want to try some more? Mm, the question, which question? Why not? What? Five, you will have five carbon. Then you may ask, you may yell, and you may, you may write down here, right? Pentane diode, is it correct? Chan Ho A suggested, it's not penta, it should be pentane. Which one is correct? Good question. Now, you are going to go back to uh, the naming system of Keytalk, and you may know this one is correct or not. Painting two four dial. Painting two four dial. Painting no. 
Yes, that's right. You come from Pantene node. So uh, the single bond should be looked at, right? This one I, I also miss out. This is Pantene. Originally it's Pantene node, right? But if you write it down Pantene node, the D here, no vowel. So you are going to add D here. So the answer is Pantene 2, 4, dial. Okay. Uh, you may give a round of applause to Chen Hongfei. Huh? Good, good questions. Okay, good questions. So Plantain 2, 4, dial is correct. Okay, it's correct. Uh, just clap. Do you know how to clap? <laughs> no problem, no problem. I, if I, I, I'm, I'm just human, right? <laughs> many, many of you will get mistakes, right? So the case is whether or not you know uh, how to spot it out and uh, you know the rule of uh, the, the rule to name the uh, chemicals. So I will write down again. It's correct. Contain hyphen two comma four hyphen diol. Oh, this this, this one I, I just mistaken it. Contain two four diol. You don't know you don't know how to clap. You have got one one symbol for you to clap. Okay, so next. Uh what questions do you like to have? Do do you know? Last question. Yeah. This one. Let's try this one. Suggest chemical tests to distinguish the four liquids. Now, so what is that type of reaction? Uh, These similar questions appear in the HKDSE essay type question. Uh, two years ago. Five mark questions. Do you know how to solve? Yeah, that is the first part. You need to, or uh, yes, you need to circle those functional group and odd one out. Each of you may have different way. Okay, each of you may have different way. So I would like you guys, uh, I would like to give you a uh, distinguish, right? So you are going to give me something as the sequential test. Sequential test, please. Do you know what it means by sequential? Sequence. It's a sequence. So if uh, I were you, I would, First of all, I uh, try to group uh, two of them. It's not just clicking one by one. Do you understand? The one who write in blue, do you understand? Sequential, in sequence. What is the first step? What is the second step? What is, what is the first step? So the best way to tackle this problem is to, I would like to show you uh, a, a whiteboard here. Right? I'll show you a whiteboard. The, so what is mean by sequential? So you are going to add the four chemicals here. The four compounds here. So you are going to give one, one test. Okay, and you are going to further classify into a red or not is this part or this part. Maybe positive result, negative result. Can you get my point? Something like this. And later on, you are going to do further tests. HBR, BR2, first step. Agree? You are going to add H HBR. Now, HBR, is it a good uh, chemical to do as a chemical test? What is the color? 
of HPL. So what is the expected observation if it is not, uh, if, it, if there is a reaction? Can you get a point? So HPL is not a good choice. HPL is not a good choice. So uh, don't, don't insist on your own way. We have, uh, every one of you will have their own way, okay? So don't worry. Uh, this part, uh, if you stick back to the one in pink, if you stick back to one in pink, uh, 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 they are now thinking of different philosophy, okay? So maybe try to take a look on one by one. So first of all, sodium hydrogen carbide. So what is the hidden message they want to test it uh, with uh, to see if any COOH, hydroxy group are found here. So you may find it with COOH without COOH. So if you mark it here as number three, number four, number one, number two, where you are going to mark it one by one, name it as one, two, three, four, respectively. Okay. And what you will get is that uh, number three and number four will give you a positive result. While the number one and number two will give negative result. I try to rank it from uh, top to bottom is one to four. You may have this. Okay, you get a point. So what's next is to think of some other test. So you are going to test test two. You're going to test, I uh, give you test three respectively, separately, okay? Can you manage to do that? Understand? So if you write down test two for those if exit, that is number three and number one, what is the difference? We've got CT double bond, right? The difference lies on the C double bond. So what is the test to test for C C double bond? Yes, BL2. What is that? Yes, if you write it down this one, it is pro uh, it is inorganic solvent. So what would be an like expected observation? Now I forgot to write down here effervescence for this. Did this one no observable change? How about this? That decolorize. What is the original color? Both of them, they are decolorized, right? For this one, it is from orange to colorless. How about this? If it is AQ, what is the color change? Last night, I just told you. BR to AQ, what is the color? Yellow. From yellow or brown to colorless. Okay, so remember. Uh, this is the positive result with CC double bond decolorization. Decolorization. So what is that? If I have this, which means it is number four. How about this? Without CC double bond, it's number three. So the observation is no observable change. Can you get a point? Can you get the flow? Could you please finish the last part, test free, for the remaining chemicals, which doesn't show uh, positive result with uh, sodium hydrogen carbon exclusion. That's great. What is that? Now, could you please finish on the right hand side and I will mark it down the, on the left hand side, such that the others know what is that? Okay, the orange solution that will turn colorless. So, this is number four and this is number three. You may add what? You warm it with? Yes, K2Cl2O7 to H plus. And then what will be the two way? The first one, positive result. The second one, negative result. Positive result, it should be color change from orange to green. Okay, how about this one negative result is orange solution remains. So for this part, what is that? Is compound one and this one is this compound two. Do you understand? So it is the way to, to show the forms. So if that, if it is changed to an essay chart question, so you need to change, you need to uh, make this diagram into a paragraph link answer. 
Can you all manage? For those who think you can manage, uh, could you please put up a hand? Let me know. Just one. Two, three. Chen Long Wang, you know it, right? Good. Wang Jun Hei. Who else? No. How about the others? All gone. Siu Jun Hei. Chen Long Wei, yeah. Yeah. Okay. How about the others? How about the others? No. Yes, you are, you, 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 you are just at dehydration, so you may find it difficult. You have missed a lot. So uh, what is the, uh, what you should know about this topic actually? I will show you. Uh, if if uh, he needs help, anyone who can locate which page is, is the most important page? Just tell him. Who? Which one? It's very difficult. Which part? Which one? Which page is the is the focus? Some 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 uh, you may choose either maybe summary. Okay, you may have a uh, have at least a very very good start. One with the certify KMN04. Now this one, remember this one, it is very, very risky to use KMN04 if it is, if, it, if I warm it, because the oxidizing power of this one is very, very high. So you better not use this one, even though you know that there is a reaction, but it is too high that some other non hydroxy group substances will also be oxidized. Okay. And uh, second, uh, do you see the, the typical type of reaction in this chapter? They love to ask you what? Distinguish. So which means by distinguish? When, well, uh, as long as we can have a functional group, okay, to be tested by you, uh, you may test it one for positive, one is negative, and you may get what you want. Okay? And it's just the start because uh, somebody may may uh, may really want to get to know the whole structure of a molecule. Okay, so th this one for chemical test, it gives you a uh, some heat for you to get part of the molecule. So the question comes: How about the remaining? Can I know the whole structure? For chemical test, no. But for the other method, yes. So you know it in form six. Uh, we call that analytical chemistry. Analytical chemistry. This is an elective topic. So you may know the whole structure by studying the whole syllabus. I just show you part of that. But my purpose is very simple, which is I need to I, I show you this new method, right? One is 2,4-dinitrophenohydrazine. You check for orange PPT. You check it for carbonyl compound. Second is Tolens reagent to test for the presence of supermira. If that is, it is aldehyde. Any more questions? Any more questions? Now, uh, tonight, I will give you the overall revision on uh, this organic chemistry too. So uh, we will use we will uh, mainly go over with you on the topic, uh, the chapter exercise, the topic exercise. Okay, uh, no, it's not just MC but also long questions and clear the doubts uh, of the people. Yes, today I have quiz. Don't don't just put a question mark, Susan. Hey, those questions they are too easy to answer. So I will stop it here, right? Uh, Sujun, hey, you, your, your common practice is, is to only use five minutes for revision, right? <laughs> so tell me your understanding, all of you here. 
students can, and at the same time, I need to check your attendance. Who are absent today? Tell me who. Who? Oh, just here, right? One, oh, together with me, they 16. But like one thing is cam one, so we do is with 15, right? Who to absent? Who to? Tell me who. Zhang Gaowen. Hun Yeah, that two guy, bad guy. So I might be here. Uh, that's why I upload it to the YouTube, all of you will know. Hmm. I'm such a person. I, I love cyberbullying. So uh, I would like to stop it here, right? Goodbye. Goodbye, guys. Let's prepare for the quiz. Goodbye, guys. Bye-bye.